Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use create method in Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion, introduction about ORM methods, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the WebLens channel under the home screen. You can see Odoo 17 development tutorial is here. And right now we are working on this playlist, the Odoo ORM methods right so here this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 development and here you can see topic wise all the sessions available and one more with interesting topic i already said in a quiz form you can see here in the community right and you can just use your locks right and yes guys and one more thing is we have to also increase our community here with the web learn. so please subscribe this channel if you didn't subscribe like and share all right and let's back to our main topic like how to use create method so first thing is what is create method purpose right so here let me go to here in the student profile in the school profile here i will try to create a new record right here not the edit record here i'm trying to create a new record for the student uh, sorry for the school let's say hello and once I click here, this save manually button, so automatically Odoo ORM calls the create method. And create method only calls once when while create new records to the database site. So here, this is the main purpose of the create method. I hope you understood about the purpose of the create method. Here, the question is will you override this create method? The answer is yes, you can also override this method. So here, now we are going to editor and I will show you how you can also override a different ways, all right? So let's go to the custom add-ons, student, models, right? And you can see here wp.school model is here. So here I'm trying to create here, or let's say override the method, right? So first thing is, I will try to use here def create okay so here the self automatically comes here because the self is the this is the instance of this school class all right here the thing is we have to do one thing we have to also pass the parameters so not only the self but there is a two parameters we have to pass here in the create method so first thing is the self then after comma and the wells okay let me print here wells after that we have to also call the super method super right like this and after that we have to pass here in inside the super as a parameter we have to pass two things so first thing is the class name so school as a class name i will pass here comma and the self i mean this object the self we have to pass after that dot create and here simple we have to pass this wells that's it and yes super automatically return a record set so here like we have to store into the variable as a rtn and let me print here rtn after that simple we have to return this rtn and that's it this is the create method we already override all right so this is very simple right now you can see here i'm trying to stop the service i'm going to start the service i will try to open this log files let me delete here and i'm going to create a, another one let's say hello web lens. and once i click to this button you can see here the wells automatically print here the first one right i already told you like once you call the super method it will return the record set you can see we stored here as a rtn as a variable and in this rtn variable it stores the record set you can see wb.school24 and 24 id is there you can see 24 id Hello web lens, right? You can see like this. So this is our simple create method we already override. 
now here there are me there are a few things we need to explore more one more thing is the self what is self right so i already told you self is the object of the specific class so here in this class the school is the python class and that's the instance you can see here as a self right now once i will restart the service let me remove all the logs i'm trying to create one more web launch 33333 something like that and once i click here you can see web launch wb.school the instance automatically print right here and it's all in a create method guys you have to remember self always be blank there is no any record set available something like this the reason is create method itself says i'm trying to create a new record so due to that self don't have any existing record set here right so due to that it's a blank in our upcoming sessions like i will try to explain you something like this way so on that methods you can see self already have a record set something like this right while you will give any interview questions so might be there is a chance so in this topic they will ask you some questions regarding the method what is the purpose of the create method how many parameters we have to pass what is how we can call the super method right and what is the return parameter i mean what is the return data type create method does so here you can see the create method we can assign different ways so this is the first way we override this method then after in this method we have to pass two parameters first is the self and second is the value value in the dictionary pair or list of dictionary pair it is depends on you how you have to define all right uh, that part i will cover in 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 later but you have to define like this two ways after that we can call the super method right using super keyword in the super keyword we have to pass two parameters school as a class name the first parameter is the class name after comma and after the self as a record set the instance of this method and after we have to call we have to call the create method and inside the create method we have to pass the parameter as well so what we pass here another thing is return the super method automatically return the record set so we store in the rtn and we must have to return this rtn okay so you can see here once we print here self so it should be a blank instance it will automatically print here then after this is the well so wells you can see in a key value format right dictionary format and after that we are written rtn so rtn is the record set so that's it you have to remember for this one all right now let's talk about the decorators so what is decorators well odoo already provides many types of decorators so it used to modify the function and it extends the characteristics and the behavior of the function all right let's say i'm trying to comment this part out like this i'm going to here in the upside and here i have to import api from odoo to use the decorators okay so here we are trying to use like this api dot model all right after that we have to use like this create self and wells the same let's say i will try to print self i will try to print wells i will try to use something like this super school self dot create wells return rtn and before return let me print rtn now i will try to restart the service uh, let me delete so let me create here let's say nalanda university if i will click to save right 
so you can see self automatically print out the dictionary is already print out and it will return automatically the record set right what is the difference here from this to this there is no any different except we used here decorator okay so this is the main thing here we can use different types of decorators this is the first decorator we can use as a api.model so once you create a single record right that time you can use api.model if you are working with the multiple record set let's say you are trying to create a multiple records in a one single create method so in that time you can use something like that model underscore create underscore multi now everything is same once we change this uh, you can see here this decorator now you can see it will change a lot of things let me delete and let me again create the same nalanda university save and now you can see here you can see the blank now here you can see it's converted into list of dictionary previously like with model and without decorator you can see something like this right only the dictionary but while we use multi like model create multi it will automatically change the wells and it's convert into list of dictionary so what that mean is if you want to create a hundreds of records or let's say more than one records using single call that is also possible in that time you can use this at the rate api dot model underscore create underscore multi all right another thing is you can also use one more decorator which is create underscore single uh, let's see the behavior one more time let me delete let me create save and now you can see here you can see the self is blank and here you can see it's simple dictionary format right and it will automatically return the record sets so here how you can define decorators right you can use without decorators for the create method that is also fine you can use at the rate api.model that is also fine you can use at the rate api.model.create.multi that is also fine and you can also create api.model.create.single that is also fine it is up to you but Odoo says like you can use always this decorator in each create method and if you see here in the community add-ons right let's say here you can see They are always using this decorator so we can also use this one okay and another very interesting is you can call super method in a different way also so these two parameters is not mandatory you can use something like this that is also fine once i will refresh the screen oh let's say let me use here this decorator hello weblands let's amount is 333 something like that let me add some data and once i click here you can see it's converted into list of dictionary right this is very interesting you can see like this still super method calls without this instance name I mean class name and the instance okay so let me recap one more time create method is the core method of the ORM 
you have to pass one parameter which is the wells it is depends on the decorator you can uh, it will automatically pass in the dictionary form or let's say list of dictionary form there are three types of decorators we can apply into the create method one is the api dot model another is the api dot model create multi and third one is the api dot model create single after that we have to compulsory call super method right to store the data into the database and after that it will automatically return the record set not the list list of dictionary or the simple dictionary it will not return that one it will automatically return the record set okay so this is the basic and very useful create method if you have any doubt regarding this method please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session is our next method which you can see in our upcoming session all right